This is a single pole contactor that is used in our industry. And the reason why they call it a single pole is because this uh, this is a actually has two leads that come from the power source and then two leads that go to the load. In this case, this lead is directly connected all the way to the load on one side and is never broken. On the other side, we have a switch right here in the middle that when depressed, it connects the two plates on either side so that this source can go and then the circuit is complete. The switch, which is on a spring, is controlled by a magnet and the magnet is an electromagnet and it is energized by this coil down here which runs on low voltage and the low voltage connections are here so when this is uh, energized a it creates a magnetic field and pulls the switch down connecting the line side to the load side of the contactor. And the reason why this is called a single pole is because it only has one switch or one side is actually controlled by the switch. I'm going to set that aside for a minute and pull out the multimeter. So in this case we've got the field piece SC77. We're going to switch this over to continuity as you can see here we got open line. We'll take our leads off of that and now we're going to test the coil by checking to see if this connection here or terminal here through the coil leads back and has a full connection to the other terminal here. So we just do that by touching and sure enough we do have full continuity through the coil. So that part checks out. However, what we're now going to do is we're going to switch this over to ohms. And we're going to check the ohm level across. And I'm going to stick this up so you can see this here. We're going to check the ohm level across the terminals. And you see we've got 10 ohms. Let's go back to continuity here. And I was going to show you what we mean by single poles now. This is the line side and the load side. So we have continuity across there. And this is the other line and load. And notice we have no continuity until we press in the switch. But another thing to check for is whether or not this is any good um, is if the ohms on the coil. Now this could be shorted out internally early in the coil uh, and preventing this from actually being a magnet. Now you could check that by doing continuity and it should show continuity because it's still shorted out in there and the circuitry is still going through. But when you check the ohms across here you would get something like 0.1 or 1 very low ohms meaning that the coil is not completely second in all the 24 volt load that's going across there and using that and I'll show you that in the equation okay so the basic electrical equation is volts equals current times resistance or we'll divide through by resistance and we get volts divided by resistance equals current. In a normal contactor we're going to have approximately 24 to 27 volts. We don't want any current greater than a 3 amp current and usually we want less than 1.5 or half of that as much so we want 100% buffer when we're doing fuses and stuff and usually less than that so or less than 50% so what we do there oh, let's take a look at what this 
coil was doing and what a similar coil with a short in it might do. So remember our equation, volts divided by resistance equals amps. Alright, so we had 20, let's say we have 27 volts on the system, which is sometimes normal. We had 11 ohms on that circuit. So we're looking at roughly 2.5 amps. That's pretty high. And that's why this contactor was not working too well. If we had a short on there and maybe we're getting 2 ohms, what we might have is 27 divided by 2 and now we're looking at almost 14 sorry 14 amps and that my friend will blow those little fuses in your furnace left and right all day long this is a bad contactor and this is what you will see when your thermostat is blank because we've blown the fuse okay V over R equals I and we want I to be somewhere a lot less than 2. For more helpful tricks and tools on your air conditioning and heating go to our website at www.alexhvac.com See you soon.